What's going on guys? It's Heath Martin on Start Progress and today I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of essential finishing drills that every single player, no matter what position you play in, needs to be able to do. Now pretty much all these drills are kind of focused on moving at a high speed while finishing because that's exactly what you would do in a game. However, there are some unrealistic components to some of these drills, like the figure eight, where you're focused more on the tight touches, more so than you know getting your head up, reacting to a stimulus, and uh, trying to read the game. Right here, you know, in these drills, it's more of focusing down on either your technical ability, either finishing quickly, or just beating a cone at pace, mimicking it as if it was a defender. And so that is the main focus here, more so than having all the realistic game components together. I like to break them down into every single drill and really focus down on each and every one. Just to kind of explain this a little bit more, as you see with these first drills, you can see that I'm just beating a cone and literally just finishing the ball. Um, the focus here is to use creativity, obviously beating the cone, and then change of pace past the cone as if it is a real defender, and then placing the ball into the corners where it's basically unsavable from a goalkeeper. Now, in the figure eight drills, you can see that my head is down. Obviously, it's not realistic to have your head down. For this drill specifically, I was really focusing in on the tight touches around the cones, that was the main concept that I was trying to improve at. And so my head was just down to lower my center of gravity to be able to put more emphasis on that aspect of the drill. Um, and obviously it's not realistic. You never would do that in the game, but just for my personal improvement, that's what I did. And for this finishing drill in this specific example, the improvement factor here is for me to tighten up my touches around the cone and become more sharp and then explode out past the cone and then obviously place the ball in an unsavable position from a goalkeeper. Obviously with every single one of these finishing drills that I do, I'm trying to place the ball as best as I possibly can into the corners so that the goalkeeper basically has no chance of stopping the shot. Now for the last couple of drills, I did a triangle kind of drill where you kind of start uh, at the base of the triangle and go around and then explode past the cone and then finish just like the uh, figure eight drill where you're exploding past that last cone, same principle here, just going in a triangle uh, figure. And I mean, it's the same thing. You're still trying to place the ball into the corners to where a goalkeeper could never stop it. Now, obviously I changed things up to make sure I'm not getting used to the training sessions I do. Uh, for this one, you can implement a whole bunch of different things. You can do like a self pass where you play in the inside of the cone and then go around and collect the ball like I've done in a couple of my drills on my Instagram. Uh, by the way, if you haven't followed us on Instagram at nonstop.progress, make sure you go do that because I upload daily soccer and fitness uh, content. So make sure you go do that. But anyways, like I said, every single one of these drills is very simple, but the main thing is for you, the player, to identify what your weaknesses are and to focus in on those specific aspects every single time you do a drill. That's as simple as this. Now for me, I really like to break it down so that I can improve on one aspect at a time. So obviously in the first couple of drills, I was focusing in on my moves and placing the ball. Now, once we got into the figure eights, I was focusing in on my tight touches around the cone and then a quick, sharp finish, a quick release. And then obviously from the last drill here, the triangle one, I'm really focusing in on exploding past the cone and placing the ball in an unsavable position. So those are the aspects that I'm focusing on as a player, but also you need to identify what is specific to you so that you can ultimately improve upon your weaknesses. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more weekly soccer and fitness content. And definitely check out the links to all my supplements and gear below because those supplements are the ones that I use on a daily basis and all the gear is all recommended by me and I use it on a daily basis in all my training sessions. Like I said before, like, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.